Precisely one year ago, Singapore entered our circuit breaker, but it feels like such a long <laughs> time has passed. Exactly. I don't think any of us want to ever go back to that yeah. period. It's, it's crazy, right? Like, you know, to, to imagine how far we have come since mm. then, but how much further that we have to go. And it's actually something we'll be talking uh, about with our news editor just in a little bit. And, you know, behaviour has changed since the circuit breaker mm. because according to a Straits Times survey 61% of the 1,000 respondents said they now socialize less frequently with those outside their immediate family compared with before the circuit breaker. 44% also reported that their social circles outside of their immediate family shrunk over the past year. Now thinking back to that time of course empty places come to mind here's a look at what a difference a year makes. As we mark this milestone, news editor Karamjit Kaur, who's been spearheading the Straits Times' COVID-19 coverage, is here with us. Karam, welcome to the show. Now, Karam, a guest we had earlier this week now said that we shouldn't waste a good crisis. How far have we come and how much further do we have to go while making sure we avoid a return to the circuit breaker period? Right. Um, how far have we come? It's hard to believe it's been a year. Yeah, um, you know, to, today feels much longer, right? It, it does absolutely. Um, April the seventh, I think when you want to look at how far we've come, I would start with vaccines. Um, I mean, you know, this time last year, the focus really was on managing uh, infections, trying to keep you know the number of uh, cases down. We all went into a lockdown. Uh, one year later, we have you know more than nine hundred thousand uh, Singapore residents have received at least one dose of the you know vaccine either the Pfizer or the Moderna uh, so when it comes to um, vaccines Singapore has come a, a very long way and really what what a difference a year has has made if you look at the economy this year of course you know more people are returning to the workplaces with the new guidelines but you know work from home still it's, it's not the default anymore but it, you know it, there's, there's been a permanent shift almost mm -hmm. Um, you know, in, in this one year, we all started out um, almost being forced to work from home, but I think it's moved to a new normal. I don't see that changing, actually. Um, I don't expect that people are going to want to go back to, you know, the days when we used to come to the office every day. And, and that's a sense that we get on the ground when we speak to companies. And um, we probably, you know, people are going to settle into this, maybe coming back two times a week, three times a week. They found new ways of working and they find that they can be uh, just as effective. Mm -hmm. Um, economy, you see a lot more opening up. You know, if you remember um, a year ago, in, uh, April, at the, you know, at the peak of the infections in the foreign worker dormitories, for example, migrant worker dormitories. Today, you see many more of them uh, working. You know, construction has started, uh, broad projects, other projects. One thing that has not moved or has moved very little is probably travel. Mm. 
I think that's something that uh, you know people are still griping about. I mean, we've had we had many um, episodes where people, you know, the level of excitement rose very high. You know, we keep talking about the Singapore Hong Kong travel bubble, but you know, we all know what happened there. Like last minute, the bubble burst, and there's you know there remains a lot of talk, right, about vaccine passports and yeah. uh, certificates, and um, Singapore Airlines is doing trials and all that. So, a lot of um, activity there, but. At the end of the day, people are still not travelling, so not much has changed uh, there when it comes to travel. Right. So, okay, we still have quite a long way to go before we emerge from you know, the pandemic and all of that. Um, but it's important to mark today and the year that we've had. ST has asked readers to share you know, how the circuit breaker has changed their lives, whether it's uh, adopting a healthier lifestyle, picking up a new hobby or even starting a new business. So, Karam, what other stories were submitted? Right. So, yeah, so we sort of started out doing two, two things. One is that we went out and we commissioned a poll, surveyed a thousand people. And I think the general uh, sort of uh, consensus is that people uh, say that they, they've been working a lot harder. Working from home for many actually means working more, you know, longer hours. There's, there's no night, there's no day. A good number of them uh, also said that they are, that they've been socialising less outside of their, you know, immediate um, family circle and all um, and yes we also asked readers to write in to us to tell us um, you know how th th those two, almost two months of being in circuit breaker sort of changed their lives and we were actually quite heartened I mean we did get quite a, a good number of people writing in to us and I think generally um, they sort of fall into a few categories um, many people started exercising you know so you we get all these stories about people who were very happy they lost two kilos and some of them said they lost five kilos and uh, we had featured a nurse who had actually lost 15 kilos so, so you know um, and i think the stories also have inspired um, others to you know also want to do the same um, a good number of them talk about how they actually um, have become closer to their families you know because you spend more time at home and you get to know your children better and you get to know your spouses better so that's been a, a, a positive so I think this, this, this whole year has been about people um, sort of like um, finding themselves, uh, finding new ways to do uh, things. And I think people sort of deciding, sort of realizing that, you know, it's kind of been like a tough year, but some things have actually been better and they found new ways of doing things. And so t truly we've moved to a new normal. Um, how far do we have to go? I, it's still a long way if you want to talk about, you know, pre pandemic but like I said earlier I, I don't I think some things are just going to stay like this well Karam thank you so much for joining us today it's always a pleasure to speak with you that was Karam Jit Kaur, news editor for the Straits Times